if there is one thing that we know for sure about our solar system, it is the fact that we hardly know anything for sure. The constraints and science of space are complex, and we only have a general understanding of the things that lie beyond our immediate view. Every new space discovery has the potential to impact everything that we already thought we knew, as well as to introduce entirely unknown possibilities about the inner workings of space. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we're going to be looking at three interesting discoveries and what they mean for our understanding of our solar system and space as a whole. Hidden Planet in Our Solar System Although the technology available to scientists seeking to peer into space has increased substantially over the past few decades, there are still many things that we know are lurking in the depths of space but are out of the range of telescopes and satellites. These mysterious unknowns always stand to throw everything that we know about the cosmos onto its head, even things that we once thought were absolutely certain, such as how many planets there are. It is common knowledge that there are eight planets orbiting our Sun, not including Pluto, which famously lost its designation as a planet in 2006. However, substantial evidence also exists to suggest that there is a ninth planet lurking at the edges of the solar system far out of the reach of our Earth-bound telescopes. We actually cannot see many things in the solar system, like black holes for example, and have deduced their presence by observing their effects on the celestial bodies that we can see. Scientists looking into the potential existence of a ninth planet started by observing gravitational pulls on other planets, and then worked backwards mathematically to discover where it should be and how big it is based on the strength of the gravitational pull. Although this is how Neptune was discovered when scientists noticed that Uranus was being affected by some unknown gravitational pull, it does not seem that any of the currently known planets are being swayed by a secret planet's gravity. What does exhibit some signs of a strange gravitational influence are the orientations of a small group of bodies called the Kuiper Belt Objects. Kuiper Belt Objects are clusters of ice, rock and dwarf planets on the outer edges of our solar system, and what is notable about them is the fact that rather than appearing randomly throughout the perimeter of the solar system, they appear to be orientated as though being pulled by the gravitational force of a small planet. Scientists observing this phenomenon began calculating where a theoretical planet influencing these Kuiper Belt objects might lie, and finally came up with the proposed location of a potential ninth planet in 2016. They estimated that the so-called Planet 9 was about five times the mass of Earth and ten times farther from the Sun than Neptune. However, searches of the region of space where scientists calculated Planet 9 to be yielded nothing, and many people took this to mean that Planet 9 did not exist, as it was entirely possible that the Kuiper Belt objects were oriented so specifically from pure coincidence. However, other scientists were sceptical that it could be a coincidence and calculated that there was statistically only a 0.4% chance of the bodies orientating themselves in such a way without the influence of a gravitational pull. So they got back to work and recalculated where the proposed Planet 9 could be hiding, this time considering observational bias, and came up with a new potential location, this time slightly closer to the Sun. Luckily, the closest spot is within range of the future path of the Vera Rubin Observatory, and as it passes through the region, we will be able to answer definitively whether Planet 9 is truly hiding out in the edges of the solar system, or if the Kuiper Belt objects are nothing more than a red herring. Aliens could be using Dyson spheres to harvest black hole energy. It is hard to discuss the enormous unknowns and possibilities concerning the almost incomprehensible expanse of our solar system without considering the possibility of as yet undiscovered alien life forms. Although UFO sightings and theories of Area 51 government cover ups fall into the category of conspiracies, scientists studying the limitless vastness beyond our Milky Way galaxy must consider the very possibility that there could be alien life forms in other galaxies, and that these life forms may be much more societally and technologically developed than we are. One of the propositions of advanced alien technology that could feasibly exist are Dyson spheres. 
The theoretical idea, proposed by Freeman Dyson, involves a structure encircling a star with multiple orbiting platforms to capture and redirect the energy emitted from the star in order to use its power. Recently, astronomers from National Tsinghua University in Taiwan began to think about these Dyson spheres and their potential applications for harvesting energy from black holes, which are some of the brightest objects in space as far as energy radiation is concerned. The astronomers realized that it was highly feasible and practical to build a Dyson sphere around the entrance to a black hole and proposed that more advanced alien life forms may have already done so. The principles behind why a Dyson sphere is more practical for a black hole than a star, as far as energy production is concerned, deals with the fact that black holes are smaller than stars but manage to contain an amazing amount of energy in that small area. This energy affects particles surrounding the black hole, which heat up due to friction, and bursts of energy frequently shoot from pores in the hole. It would be cheaper, material-wise, to build a Dyson sphere around a black hole due to its smaller size, and the potential energy production would be up to 100,000 times greater than that of a star. And although aliens might not be using the exact principles of Dyson spheres, the scientists speculated that they might use some forms of satellites instead to harvest X-ray energy in a similar concept as solar panels. Because of the large amount of energy that would be redirected from a structure harvesting energy from black holes, there would be a definitive ultraviolet or infrared energy signature, which Earth-bound scientists might be able to see from the Milky Way and may already have been recorded by satellites. With this new possibility of signatures of alien life forms, the scientists interested in pursuing this theory must now go back through records and begin looking for such telltale radiation signatures. Perhaps confirmation of alien life forms is coming sooner than we think. Fastest asteroid ever discovered in our solar system. The Earth has a new neighbor in the solar system, although it is only new in terms of our knowledge of it and has actually been there for quite some time. Asteroid 2021 PH27 was recently discovered with an orbit around our Sun that takes only 113 days, making it the fastest orbital asteroid and the second fastest object in our solar system. The only object yet discovered with a faster orbital period is Mercury, which only needs 88 days to complete an orbit. The newly discovered asteroid is relatively close to Earth, as it completes its revolution around the Sun across an unstable path which crisscrosses the orbital paths of both Mercury and Venus. However, because of this non-uniform path, scientists predict that it will either be thrown from its current path or be destroyed in a collision with Mercury or Venus in the next few million years. Its proximity to the Sun and the related influence of the gravitational field means that it also experiences the largest general relativistic effects of any other object in the solar system. Because of this effect, its orbit is slightly elliptical, and it deviates from this path slightly over time. This is known as precession and is based upon Einstein's theory of general relativity. At its orbital position closest to the Sun, the asteroid gets so hot that its surface reaches an astonishing 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists use asteroids like 2021 PH27, which is only about one kilometer across, to help them understand where asteroids come from, as well as how the forces that control our solar system work. Current speculation suggests one of two possibilities for the origin of this newly discovered orbital asteroid. The first says that 2021 PH27 might have been dislodged from the main asteroid belt that orbits between Mars and Jupiter, and then was sucked into its current orbit by the gravitational pull from surrounding planets. The second theory is that the asteroid was once a comet that entered the Milky Way and had a trajectory that brought it within the gravitational pull of the Sun and the other planets in the inner solar system, causing it to go extinct as a comet and become an orbiting asteroid. Asteroids are rather hard to spot from Earth, but their study is very important for an understanding of celestial forces, as well as determining which orbital bodies might potentially have an impact for Earth so the discovery and subsequent study of 2021 PH27 is very important for scientists. Although 2021 PH27's path will soon put it on the opposite side of the Sun from us, making it unobservable, 
When it emerges early next year, scientists will resume studies on the asteroid and will hopefully be able to learn even more about where it came from and what it could suggest about other asteroids that are as yet undiscovered in our solar system. But what do you make of these outer space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.